robot surgical system then came along and this um, took us to the highest level I've ever imagined in surgery. Da Vinci robotic prostate surgery has completely transformed the treatment of prostate cancer as we know it. And it's literally allowing men to return to their lives as they know it faster than ever before. And it's really, if you know what you're doing, it's a beautiful operation where the patients don't lose much blood and they can get back to work early with good urinary control and sexual function. The most important benefit of the da Vinci procedure for many patients is the rapid return of sexual and urinary function. This robotic technology is getting such positive reviews, many patients are asking for doctors who use it. A lot of different specialists are able to utilize this system for uh, the, the betterment of their patients. We can take out prostates, we can take out bladders, kidneys, adrenal glands, ureters, virtually every organ that we deal with in the urinary system. From a gynecologic standpoint, uh, hysterectomies, other reconstructive procedures, there are also uh, colorectal surgeons, um, uh, general surgeons who are participating. It's just a better way to operate on people. I've been accused of being a surgical dinosaur. But over the last 18 years, I've done over a thousand radical prostatectomies, and I've been very pleased with the results. Only 10 patients have known we died of prostate cancer, and my argument is that perhaps we need to prove for sure that the new technologies are, are actually better before fully embracing them, rather than just accepting ஒருத்தோட <laughs> Uh, risk of complications, particularly incontinence and erectile dysfunction. Lower down the list of priorities are other features such as uh, length of the scar, whether or not they get back onto the golf course in two weeks or four weeks. If you're really relying on two digits, your thumb and your forefinger. Mm -hmm. um, yes. That's impressive. Yeah. Turn the tip of the instrument towards yourself. That's a great movement, isn't it? Just turn the tip That's towards incredible. yourself. Rotate them towards yourself. It's all very well to boast that the instruments can rotate through 360 degrees and that the surgeon's hand movement can be reduced by a scale of 1 to 5. But I've never had to rotate an instrument through 360 degrees. And most good surgeons can make accurate hand movements words, within a fraction of a millimeter without any complex equipment. All you need is practice you had, you and very good hand support. Here, also, there's no sense of touch, which seems a huge disadvantage. See all the stitching I put in, it caused me bleeding. It's interesting that the limiting factor of this operation isn't the million pound robot, but the size of the surgical instruments. Each is worth probably around 250 pounds, but they're just too big for the job. Perhaps more money should be spent on designing better instruments than on the robot. This morning it's Dr. Sutherland sitting at the controls of the neuro arm, worth over 12 million pounds. The most technologically advanced surgical robot in the world. Unlike the Da Vinci robot, this one gives the surgeon something approaching a sense of touch. It's so important for a surgeon to be able to feel what's happening. This could help identify, for example, where the edge of a tumor is. It does feel very different to me from the Da Vinci robot that felt dead. This is clearly a technological improvement. The movement feels so unnatural to me 
Now it's stuck, I can't even move the arms. I just can't see how something so unnatural would be better than a surgeon's hands.